okay so first of all we need to download chirp so go to the link in the description you'll arrive at this website and click on download click on download latest chirp and then click on the highlighted line here I've already got it downloaded so I'll cancel so once it's downloaded open up chirp you will see this screen now before you can write to the radio you need to download the files from the radio first so click on radio here download from radio adjust your settings here so go to Quanjang drop down to UVK5 click OK click OK again so at this stage all you need to do is connect your Balfun cable to the radio and to the USB turn on the radio click OK and it will read the channels from the radio so that's my list so you can see you can download from the radio now and upload so let's back up this list and send so go to file save let's name it RB1 radio backup 1 click save you can see we now have a backup here if anything goes wrong so within chirp you can put in frequencies and all your details manually or you can do it you can find repeaters through here you can click on query source repeater book and you enter your country and the state so it's in Michigan and here you can put in your latitude and longitude where you are exactly and the kilometers from that location you can also select only certain bands certain modes and convert to FM dual mode digital repeaters that support analog will be shown as FM click OK and see you've got a ton of repeaters here 206 so we could select the ones we want here individually or select a few and right click copy go to your original list start at the line which is clear right click and paste you can see they've gone in okay so once you've backed up the actual channels and the settings you can play around as I've shown with it you know enter it in manually or find repeaters in your country your area and then copy and paste them into here or a list but this is quite a handy feature to change so go to driver information and check this box what this does is um, tell the software that this is unlocked there's plenty more frequencies we can use if you don't do this if I'll go back into memories and 51 line 51 if I try and enter in a CB band it will say invalid edit that it doesn't support it so go back into settings check the box now if I go into memory now I can 
enter in CV band and it will accept it. So that's something you need to do. The other settings are basic settings. You've got loads of different settings here which you can change outside of the radio, so through here. But the only one you've got frequency, that's a display. But I don't use that um, selection because the radio shows the frequency and the name. So yeah, I'll show you how to do that with the radio. So to display your channel name and frequency, this is the menu option. Menu, 33. I've already got it set to name and frequency, but you would press menu if you haven't. Go through, you've got name only, channel number, frequency, and name and frequency. So select M to save, exit, and there you have it. So if you've got the chirp program, or you're putting names for different channels, then they can be displayed along with the frequency here. Okay, so getting back to this. One setting is quite good here. So scan resume mode. So click the drop down, you've got three choices. So this one is resume after five seconds of no activity. Resume after signal disappears, so straight away. And stop scanning after receiving the signal, so I chose that one. So here we have like a, an overview, it's not going through everything, it's just to get you guys started, just to help you out. So just remember, you know, that's the original one. Your backup is the one you have to change as you go along. You can't change the other tabs. So in here, you can also, if you've downloaded a file, you can import a file as well. So, say for instance, I've downloaded a one here, a repeater book. If I click on that, you can actually import it, but it will overwrite your existing channels. So yeah, it will overwrite those. So it's something to be aware of. So once you've finished making all your changes to your list, you can save it. Don't overwrite your master list because you may want to go back to that. So save it as something else. So save it as master change changes. You save it as that. Then just write to the radio once you're finished. Upload to the radio. So once it's finished uploading, the radio will reset. You'll see the welcome screen come up. There's no other sign that it's done, so you'll just watch out for that. So that's the basics. Hope that's helped you guys out. If it has, you'll like, leave me a comment, let me know. Cheers, guys.